Hey everyone, this is Mr. W. This lesson is on number patterns part three, multiplication patterns. A uh, number pattern involves a set of numbers that runs you know, usually from left to right. The numbers are changing and it is our job to figure out what is happening. Now, are we adding, subtracting, are we multiplying or dividing? And then by how much? That is called the rule. The numbers here at the bottom are stretched out so that we can see the rule in action today. Okay, 3, 9, 27. Numbers are definitely getting bigger, which means it's either going to be an addition rule or a multiplication rule. I just know from my knowledge of multiplication that 3 times 3 Would equal nine. So I'm going to try, it, it could be a plus rule, but I'm going to try times three since I know those facts. So this would read as three times three equals to nine. The rule has to say the same. So let's see if nine times three equals 27. And yes, it, nine times three equals 27. So we definitely have a times three rule. And our job is to figure out what comes next. Well, that is going to be, again, we're doing the same step. So 27 times 3 will equal our next number. So 27, I'm going to show that down here. 7 times 3 would be 21. I'm going to regroup my 2. 3 times 2 is 6, which I'm going to add. 6 plus 2 would be 8. So our last number in this pattern would be uh, 81 using a multiplication rule, a times 3 rule. Find the rule. 21, 63, 189. Numbers are definitely getting bigger. And I can just use estimating real quick. I could estimate that that's 20 times blank. And if I round that real quick mentally, and I know that's going to be 2 times 3, right? 20 times 3 would be 60. And that makes sense, the 1 times 3. So I'm seeing this as a times 3 rule. It could be addition, but I see that that would be roughly about 40, 41, 42, and this is a much greater difference. So I know that if I had 40 something to 60, it's only going to be like about 105 or something. Um, so it's definitely a multiplication rule. Okay, so rule stays the same. So 63 times 3, let's just check. Three times three is nine. And so far that's checking out. There's our nine. And then three times six is 18. No regrouping for this one. So yeah, we're good. So this is obviously a times three rule. And now our job is to find our, uh, let's see, number here. So 189 times three. You could also use a calculator. Um, I'm going to use regular multiplication today. Nine times three is 27. I'm going to regroup my two. 3 times 8 is 24. Don't forget that we have to add that 2, right? 24 and 2 would be 26. I'm going to regroup again. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 plus 2 is 5. So that would be 567. But you'll notice over here we have a blank that started the pattern. The same rule is going to apply. Remember, our rule stays the same. So this is still going to be a times 3. In other words, blank times 3 equals 21. You could also use your knowledge of fact families. Remember the fact families, you use the same three numbers, and that can be used in this case for multiplication or division. So we could also divide. 21 divided by 3, and if you work that through, that's going to be 7. So 
our rule for this multiplication pattern is a times three. All right, uh, if you want, you can pause for a second. Give it a try. Okay, find the rule, eight, 32, 128, and we'll notice that we have uh, empty boxes we need to find on both the left and the right side. Numbers are definitely getting bigger, and I know just from experience when I start with 8, that 8 times 4. So this is a multiplication rule. It could be addition, but once again, I see that it's if I'm adding, the difference between here is roughly 24, and it's way different. So this is a times four rule for sure. Remember that when you do rules, it has to stay the same. It has to be consistent right across. So sometimes you could try adding here, but if it doesn't work, it means that's not the rule. It has to do it for every single uh, set of numbers. Okay, so 128 times four. Eight times four is 32. Two, I'm going to regroup my three. Four times two is eight, but remember we've got to add this. Ah, so we need to fix that. Three to, uh, eight plus three is 11. Regroup that one. Four times one is four. Ah, a little bit rough on my addition signs. Four plus one would be five. So our last number to the right here would be five. 112 using our times four rule. Okay, we still have this one. The rule stays the same. In other words, it's going to be blank times four equals eight. You could use your knowledge of fact families. I just know that it's going to be two. That's common knowledge that two times four. But if you were struggling and you feel more comfortable using a division strategy, you could also show that as 8 divided by 4, and you would come up with 2. So our rule for our last pattern is 8 times 4. All right, thanks, everybody. Hope this helped, and we'll see you next time.